Hey there guys, welcome back to my gameplay walkthrough of Star Fox Adventures. Now, just before we see um, where I left off from the last part, I did get three cheat tokens and dropped them in the maze, uh, one of which revealed a riddle um, into Fox's future. The other two activated cheats, uh, which are options, not ordinary cheats. See if I can find them. Yeah, they look the same. There we go. There's one of them uh, playing different tunes. That's the one for Moon Mountain Pass. Um, that's one that's coming later on in the game. Down effects of rain. That's one that's coming later on in the game as well. Yeah. A few tunes there. It'll probably take me a bit of time to find the music for here, so I'll stick with Frazal Palace. There we go, there's another uh, cheat which has been activated, or another option to display the credits, but we'll leave that for the end of the game. So now we can see where we left off from last time. Alright, 41% into the game. We've got two Crusoe Spirits, one Spellstone. We released the second Crusoe Spirit at the palace. Located Cape Claw and found the gold for the high top. Alright, so let's head back. We opened this gate leading into this area. Uh, four blocks. Uh, nothing else. You have to take a good look around, otherwise, this won't happen. Door has sealed us in. So we need to get those blocks uh, back. Oh. <laughs> nice. You go into this area when that bar on the bottom is almost empty. That will give Fox some breathing space. As this gas is poisonous. Alright, right, there's one. Just move all four of these boxes back over those vents. Alright, that's uh, the gauge was getting empty, so back over here. That's three. Just this one left. And completing this puzzle. Not only opens the door to this chamber, but also the, um, the cage down below. Now we can see who's in there. Yeah, get rid of this creature first, he's aiming at me. Right. Um, 
Yeah, now we can see who's in there. do not see eye to eye. His father has probably been saying bad things about me. Who locked you in there? General Scales. Who else? You see, I am the queen of the Cloudrunner tribe and also its gatekeeper. That guy needs to be taught a lesson. Where is he now? He used my powers to open a path to the Cloudrunner fortress. I must return there to help my tribe. I'm gonna need that spellstone. Looks like you've got yourself company, lady. Peppy, I'm returning to the Arwing. Can you make sure it's ready for takeoff? Wait a minute. There's no way I'm going up to her fortress. Okay, you can sit this one out. We'll head back to Thorntail Hollow, and you can wait there for me to return. I'll meet you at the fortress. Good luck. <laughs> Gateway to Cloud Runner Fortress opens, so now we head back to Thorntail Hollow. There's a few items in this area that I'm going to get before moving on to the hollow. There's a boost pad on the ground just over here. Farm that here. Oh, I've got all ten, so I can't collect that one. Oh, you had to be awkward, didn't you? <laughs> Alright. So now I've got to use the rocket boost pad to get back up there. is back up to full. Oh, okay. Two more fuel cells. 
And it looks like I've lost that scarab as well. <clears throat> Never mind. Alright, now we move on. This place of Horn Sail Hollow. Yeah. A few more brooks up here. that they're actually called mush buses. Uh, right. Um, so I'm just wondering if I need anything before I go to Cloud on the Fortress. Um, which I don't think I need to. Okay, you have enough fuel cells to reach Cloud Runner Fortress. Yeah, I know I forgot this last time when we went to Dark Ice Mines. I think you needed five uh, fuel cells to reach Dark Ice Mines. Uh, thought I'd better say that late, better than never. Um, for Cloud Runner Fortress, I think you need ten, but I'm not sure. So, uh, but anyway. I've got enough to reach Cloud Runner Fortress now, so let's go. Fortress has opened up for us, so let's head there. Yeah. 
got it. Ah, fuck. Eight hundred and ninety. I uh, got stuck um, in the structure there towards the end, but never mind. I made it through. If it's safe, meet me inside. All right. First step here. Yeah, get rid of those shark claws for a start. First thing to do is to open these gates. Head down this ladder to the right. Alright. There's these creatures here in the water. You can only hit them when they raise um, like their shell or whatever it is, just like that. Alright. Gonna get closer. Um, yeah, it's out of the way now, so right. this switch activates um, a short side mission in which you have to get round the course in less than 30 seconds. Right. Let's go. Yeah. You have to go through each one of those uh, circles to open the gates. Okay, uh, I'll try and make it anyway. Run out of time. Okay, um, right, so now, oh, right. Can I get up? No, I can't get up there. Yet. See, that's why I always uh, shoot those things before starting the test, because if I fall in the water, then they get in the way. Um, at least I can get rid of this one. Alright, let's try again. Yeah, once, once you've started the clock, then concentrate on the course and not those creatures. Alright, made it. Now I've got that fire blaster switch. Sentry up ahead. All we can do at the yeah, get those scarabs down there. I'm gonna need as many as I can get for later. Okay, 
Yeah. Activate the shield so you don't get hit by the sentry. There's only two here, so uh, next step is to open that gate, head down this ladder here. Uh, right, so, um, activate this switch. Alright, got the gates open. Head back up the ladder. Turn right into the next area. I knew it was the fox that set you free. Now where is he? I do not know what you're talking about. <laughs> Can I find the fox? He will find you, and he will destroy you. Stop! It's over, Skills. Leave the queen alone. Enough! Take her away! The famous Fox McLeod! How nice of you to pay us a visit. Why don't I show you some of our hospitality? My staff! Alright. Thinks he's got us trapped in a cell, but not for long. Just push this block out to go to an open cell. Alright, and again, that means to contact Slippy. His information's already up. Hey Fox, I can send you a disguise to fool the guards, but the prison walls are causing too much interference for a successful teleport. Perhaps what is needed is an explosive touch to crack the problem. Use the disguise to get your staff back and escape the dungeon. Hope that helps you, Fox. Slippy out. All right, let's let's go. All right, the shark claw guard is in the next room. Yeah. So first thing is hold down L for sidestep mode and slowly sneak around the outside of the room to get past him. If you wake him up by accident, you'll end up back in the cell that you were just in. Once you clear the room, you can run back round down this ladder to the left. All right, we've got a dead man switch, um, a fan, and a timed fuel barrel. the force of habit there. Place the barrel on the fan, activate the switch. Hi Fox! I've been studying the mission and I think this will help you. Alright. Slippy has just given us a disguise. which I will now activate. There it is. So now we can fool the shark claw guard. You take over. Keep I a prisoner. Me go for break.
You've got back Crystal's staff. Don't lose it again. <laughs> right, so... There's a couple of other prisoners here, so... Let's release them. To find the spellstone, you must first activate the wind lifts. This is the key to the power chamber. The power supply to the whole city is down. These wind lifts will only work if you restart the generator. This is the power room key. With it, you can access the fortress power generator. Alright. Open the other cells. I've got that cloud runner out. One more. Alright. Fire blaster switch here. the sharp core disguise so we can easily get past the sentries above center where the queen cloud runner was uh, activate one of these switches uh, we've got an open gate there we've only got a limited amount of time so you have to be quick I just noticed the staff energy meter is low, so I need to refuel it. Yeah, I'm probably going to run out of time now. This is a light gem placed inside the fortress generator room to reactivate the power around Cloud Runner Fortress. Alright, you got three of these light gems to collect. So, again, I'm running out of uh, staff energy, so I'm going to wait for this. Um, energy gem to reappear.
Hopefully it won't take too much longer. Here we are. Uh, the bad news is you can't chop down the magic plants while in the shop or disguise. So I right. right. first thing to do here. Get rid of the tree, activate the switch, head up the ladder. Ah, oh. ran out of time again. Alright, extinguish these flames. Right, now I've got to head back out. Hit the switch again. Oh. Just wasted some staff energy there. Second light gem, and it says the same thing as before. Alright, so I've got one more to get. Just gotta be careful not to waste any more. Staff energy. Alright, one switch left. Alright, to get up to the second level, we have to come up these crates here. to the generator room. Right down the oh ouch. It's uh, over here. Place the key over here to open the door. Open as soon as you get close to it. Now, the air inside again is toxic, just like in Cape Claw. So, good idea is to head back out once the gauge gets too low. Right, we've got the red one first. Nice. Right. 
Now the green one. The game is really dropping, so. Cool. Okay. Gonna let that refuel all the way. Okay, now we can come back in. Put the last one in. There's that mission accomplished. You have done well, Fox. My name is Greydebug, Cloudrunner's chief engineer. <laughs> The Queen has been imprisoned within her own royal chamber as an example to the rest of the tribe. Only she can help you find a spellstone. The wind lifts will lead you to the sky dock. Alright, that's our next stop. Um yeah. Fill up the energy needs to while I'm here. We need to head up these crates, just as we did a moment ago. Yeah, I've just realised he did say um, the wind list can get us up. Um, Uh, I could have taken a shortcut there. Um, I'm not sure what that's done. Uh, Activate it anyway. Oh, that was what it would have done. Reverse the wind direction. Take out these sharp claws. The gate's closed on us, but never mind. Just activate the sharp claw disguise to get it open again. Now we're at the sky dock. There's a few shark for here. As well as a life force door with five spirits on it. Equals the number of shark for here. So we have to take them out. See that there's only three spirits left on the life force door. Three shark claws left. There's one over here. Another one somewhere. They are there.
Now we have a timed fuel barrel, which can only be held by a shark claw. Bring the barrel over here. Put it down there, climb the ladder. Activate this machine. Alright, so we need to blow a hole against that. Staff energy again. Right, so, um, this is, yeah, this shark claw switch or shark claw pad over here to drop the ladder. seems unstable. See if you can find a way of breaking it. Alright, we can use the times fuel barrel that we found uh, a moment ago. Ah, oh, the gate's closed. Alright. We can't open that gate just yet. Alright. Or at least we, I don't think we can. Um. Oh, hang on. Yeah, sorry about that, we can open the gate, activate that switch. Crates. Make it to the other side and then activate this switch. Hey, okay, I've got the gates open now. Right, drop down to the level below. Right, I apologize for that mistake. hasn't exploded yet. Well, it's pretty safe to assume that it's close to exploding any moment, so there you are. I dare to pick it up. Shield just in case. Alright, now I can get another one. Huh, looks like 
the countdown's frozen. Frozen. All right. Didn't go that far. I was just about to say throw it to the other side, but it didn't work for me. Oh yeah. Countdown's frozen. Are you all right? My children. When I was captured, they became scared and are now hiding around the fortress. <coughs> Please take this. Use it when you hear them. Its call will guide them back to me. If the Shark Claw find them, I fear they will leave the fortress forever. You have earned the Cloud Runner Flute. The Queen's babies will only respond to this call. Right. Alright, so yeah, the first one is out here in the air dock. Being tormented by a sharp claw. to get into the right spot to successfully blow the flute. Close there. Oh, it didn't work. All right. Uh, that area is near the start, so it's quickest to drop down to the start, or oh, where we start at the level. Head down this ladder. Uh, there's a boost pad somewhere here. There we go. Stack energy. Ladder and back up the other one. Yeah, I can't activate the disguise yet. Right. Yeah. 
I should have enough time to recharge my energy before making it up there. Uh, uh, wind lift is this way. is a bit narrow. Yeah, there was a perform that back there, but I've got an old hand. I can't get any more. Okay. Fireflies over there. Okay. Um. Yeah, I've forgotten something. Needs a shark draw fuel barrel. Again, it looks like the countdown's frozen. Okay, just throw it inside the fan. And then again, make your way down to the treasure rooms. this switch to stop the wind lift. Uh, countdown's reactivated. Uh, we're in the dark now, so we need to use the lantern. Right, come right here. Blow this crack in the wall. Right, head down this ladder. Okay. 
Okay. Collect that energy gem. Okay, I'm gonna stop the game there and then continue in the next part. So, see you all then.